Okay, so let us take problem 3. Suppose I have x divided by 5 plus 13 upon 2 is equal to let's say 28 divided by 2. Okay? You will wonder that this 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14. So why don't we replace it with 14 only? So let me do that for you. Now, in the previous two examples, what I did was, I added and subtracted the same thing from both the sides. What many a time people can also do, and that is fairly easy, is that move one element from one side, say left hand side, and right hand side to the other side. Now what that does is that whatever is the sign of this particular element, if suppose you are moving say 13 by 2 to the other side, whatever is the sign of this, that changes as you move it from one side to the other, which could be left to right or right to left. Now this movement of left to right and right to right is called transposing. So instead of subtracting 13 by 2 from both the sides, what I can also do is, I can move 13 by 2 to the other side. The idea behind all these equations The idea behind all these equations is basically to keep this left hand side containing only the variable. You don't want anything else but the variable on this side. So in this case, if suppose I have x by 5 and I transpose, I transpose, I move 13 by 2 to the other side. So I move this to this side. Then what happens? In my equation, I will be left as x plus 5 and 14 minus 13 by 2. Please note that as 13 by 2 moved from left hand side to the right hand side or it got transposed, the sign which was positive here became negative. Now we can also write 14 as 28 divided by 2, something which I was showing in the initial equation, minus 13 by now we have 2 as the denominator in both these cases, so the LCM of this number is going to be 2 and we can write this as 28 minus 13 or 15 divided by 2. So x by 5 is equal to 15 divided by 2. So what is the value of x? x is equal to 15 divided by 2. Suppose I multiply both the sides by 5. So this 5 is going to move from here, here, and this becomes 75 by 2. Now, you can also transpose the denominator. The way it works is, suppose you have 1 upon x, and x is the denominator, and you want to move it to the other side of the equality sign. What you do is that this division, when it moves to the right-hand side, will become multiplication. So here, basically, I could have written this as, x by 5 is equal to 15 by 2. If I have to transpose this 5, which was dividing x here, I would multiply it here, and I will remove it from here. So this will also give me the same result, which is coming if I were to do the simplest form of multiplication. So this is how basically you kind of solve the linear equations.